Hello everybody, welcome to Conscious Cooking. I'm Chef Yaku, this is Ain't Chef Angel and Chef Brooklyn and we're and the, the Sprules. So today we're just going to go over the whole basis of Conscious Cooking and what we mean when we say Conscious Cooking. Do you guys have an idea what we mean when we talk about Conscious Cooking? I think that means when we're like making good food and not getting sick food because it's it's right now it's coronavirus coronavirus is going around well you are in the ballpark definitely it's getting good foods but being a little bit more in detail what about you Brooklyn? you think you got an idea what you what we mean by so conscious cooking i think we have to make healthy foods and so so we don't so 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 like we don't get the coronavirus by ourselves true so we want to make foods that are good for our immune system and help build us and make us feel strong and healthy and also fills us up at the same time, right? Right. So when we say conscious cooking, we mean being conscious of the things that we already have. We, we're inside the house, right guys? We're right. sheltered in place. We yeah. can't just go out to the grocery store like normally. If daddy needed to, maybe, one, maybe if I need to go out to the grocery store and just grab green onions or something, I could do that. But now... We're kind of sheltering in place, so we want to use what we got. And that's what brings us to today's item, being conscious, cooking, but cooking with what you got and being conscious about the things you have. And I thought no other recipe would be better than doing a hash. Now, what is a hash? A hash is particularly a breakfast dish that uses potatoes and kind of fills up with other things, vegetables, meats, cheeses, Whatever you kind of have, and I think that's purchased, I, and I think that's perfect for conscious cooking. So let's check out the ingredients we have. What we have here is we have some potatoes that are small diced, and I went ahead and boiled them for about 20 minutes until they was tender. Then I instantly cooled them. Those are gonna be all our potatoes for our hash. That allows them to be crispy on the outside, but nice and mushy on the inside, almost like a French fry. We yeah. love French fries, all right? Yeah. Next, I got broccoli. Now, we had a little bit of, we had a salad last night. I was going to use the broccoli, but I was like, nah. And it was coming to us end of days. So we're going to go ahead and get this broccoli out the way. That way we're not wasting anything in our refrigerator. Also, from yesterday's salad, we also got a little bit of cooked bacon there that we're going to add into our hash. A little bit of cheese here. We had a little bit of leftover cheese. That's the last of our shredded cheese. So I said, why not use it in the hash? It's not necessarily yeah. enough for all three or four of us to eat. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use it in our hash. I got a little bit of ketchup here that I'm going to let the kids decorate the plate with to make a cool design so it can look cool, right? We yeah. want our food to look good and also taste good, right, guys? Yeah. Um, and today, I'm going to let the kids do most of this, man. I'm tired. I've been working from home. I've been doing what I need to do. I think it's time we let the kids step up and handle this. What do you guys think about that? Yes! That's what yes! I'm talking about. Yes! So, guys, remember, whenever you want the kids to join in, all you have to do is get the setup going, and you can get everything perfect for them. What I have here is I have two butter knives. I'm going to let the kids cut up the broccoli with the butter knives. That way they can cut with confidence, and they don't have to worry about cutting themselves. And we can get this done, and we can make a beautiful dish. Dude, how important is it to get a vegetable in breakfast, right? Right. Yeah. You, you gotta get we gotta get our vegetables and fruits. And Brooklyn, you talked about being healthy and making healthy foods. And Angel, you brought up being healthy too and making sure that we putting foods in our bodies that are keeping us healthy, right? Right. And also uh, and we 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 are wearing gloves so we so we don't have to worry about cutting ourselves with the butter knives. Well, cut, well the gloves cut, are to keep the stuff. Because these are plastic. Well, the gloves are to keep your hands clean and make sure that we're not contaminating anything. So that's going to keep everything clean. I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves on too, even though I wash my hands. But I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves on too, because it's better to be safe than sorry. Right, guys? Right. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to have you guys, I can actually turn the cutting board, and I can have you guys start... Cutting and here each of you can have a space. So let me just give you guys remember with the kids You always want to give them a quick demonstration show them how you want to cut and then just let them go to town So kids, this is what I want you to do. I want you to just take off the very very tops Okay, 
and leave that green. It's all good. It's still from me. I want you to just take the tops off and leave that like that. Can you guys do that? Yeah. Once you guys get it like this, we're going to put the good stuff that we want in here, and we're going to leave the stem, and we're going to put the stem right there. That's going to go into compost, okay? Yeah, okay. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get, and I'll let you guys, Brooklyn, you can start on a little broccoli there. Angel, you can start on a little broccoli here. And uh, let's get to cutting. Remember how I just showed you how I want you to cut it, guys? You want now we got the kids cutting confidently. Yep, and get it in the ball. Good job, guys. And make sure to just to clean it off, get them stems good. Good job. Excellent job, guys. So, Brooklyn, this is your first time really cutting with the knife with, on camera. How do you feel, baby? I feel really good. Are you confident? Yep. Good job. All right, let's get those tops in, guys. We get those tops in. Then we'll have some. I think once you guys finish off your little paw, I think we'll definitely have enough for our delicious hash. What do you guys think? Yeah. yeah. All right. This one doesn't really have a stem. Um, well, then go ahead and break that up with your hand. And that's another thing in the kitchen, guys. Use your hands, too. Sometimes you can get in there and kind of break things off where you don't really even necessarily need a knife. So good job, Papa. Thanks. Yep, and just make sure we leave a stem out. I can't really cut it because it's really hard to cut it's it. It's okay. Let me help you. Neither does this one have a stem. <laughs> mm, it's all good. We doing this together. So I'm here for y'all. Here, let me see, Papa. So this one you can still cut. Oops, I'm sorry, baby. It's fine. That one you can still cut. All right, now let's clean Let's clean up our little space here. Let's get all this stuff and let's put it in our bowl right here. Good job, guys. And then we're actually done with our knives. So we can sit those up here. And those are nice and out the way. And we got our broccoli all done. So what I'm going to do is, first, very first thing that we do, I'm going to get the oil and stuff going for the kids. That's the part that the parents can do set up. Once we get that set up, then the kids can pretty much take over. Now, first I get on uh, about a medium to high heat. Nothing here is gonna take extremely long to cook. So everything is just basically getting refreshed, woke back up. Because remember, this is our humble hash, baby. This was humble items in our refrigerator that's gonna turn into a beautiful hash now. It's humble cause we're making it together. Cause we're making it together. That's what I'm talking about. And also, we don't we we don't have to worry about getting getting sick cause we're wearing gloves. Right. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the oil get nice and hot. So what I can do is I can add the things into the pan for the children because we don't want it to splash and get on them. We want to make sure that they're still confidently cooking. I want to run you guys through my seasoning while my oil's heating up here. First, I'm using a little oregano, a little dried oregano. We're going to use a little bit of our granulated California garlic. Ooh. We're going to use some smoked paprika. I love Ooh. the flavor of that smoked paprika. We're going to have a little bit of fresh black pepper Ooh. and a little bit of kosher salt. Bring that flavor in, right? And like I said, at the end, we're going to let the cat kids do a little ketchup design so we can have a nice, beautiful dish. What do you guys think about that? Of yes. Course. All right. Yes, yes, yes. So now my oil's nice and heated. You can tell your oil's heated nice because you can tell it moves around. You can see the squiggly little lines in it. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get a little bit of potatoes in. And here, I'm going to have you guys move down. All right, come on. Angel, here, I'm going to give you this. Actually, Brooklyn, since you're in front, I'm going to let you start off. So not yet. I'm going to put some potatoes in. Ooh, ooh. And remember, guys, you know your pan is ready when you hear that sizzle, right? Yeah. It kind of talks to you. It's like, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's so go. I'm now, ready. <laughs> we're going to let our potatoes crisp up a little bit. Remember, these are fully cooked potatoes. We cooked them until they were tender already. We removed them from the water and then let them cool back down to where they got nice and nice and chilled. And now we're going to add them back in. This is one of the techniques that you would do to make the perfect french fry. Everybody likes french fries, right? Yeah. So these potatoes are going to kind of turn out like french fries for breakfast. <laughs> All right. Now, Brooklyn, very gently, I just want you to kind of move the potatoes around. That's okay. going to allow them to get coated. And here, you can grab the pan with one hand. Now, our pan has a rubber handle on it, so the kids don't have to worry about burning themselves. 
You want to keep it here because the fire is going to come up from the side. So you don't want to, you want to keep your arm angled. Boom, there you go. And you want to just move them around a little bit. You don't want any potatoes to come out the pole, out the back. Good job, baby. And what I'm going to have Angel do is, I'm going to have Angel actually add our seasoning. So let's get a nice little pinch of salt and sprinkle it around. And here, Bookie, let's let him sprinkle it around. Now we can go a little bit more salt than that. Nice little pinch of salt, because remember, we're going to be adding some veggies. So go ahead and keep your mixture going, Brooklyn. Now, Angel, I'll trade you salt, and I will give you the black pepper. Yeah. Do you know how to do the black pepper? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yes, twist turn it. it over. Turn it over and twist it. Good job. Good job. Perfect. Now, we got our black pepper. Yep, good job, Brooklyn. Keep on stirring. Keep on stirring. Keep on oh, stirring. <laughs> All right. Now remember, you want to keep it in a pan, so what do is this good job, baby. California, California garlic. Yep, that's our California granulated garlic. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of that in. Perfect, that's good. Nice and garlicky. Now, after our granulated garlic is in, we're going to add a little bit of our paprika. So we're going to give it a couple little dashes of paprika. Remember, Brooklyn, keep your hands up hot. Because the heat is coming from around the pan because it's fire. So you want to make sure you don't burn your baby, right? Let's go ahead and get a little bit in. You can add a little bit more than that. Perfect. Oh, you smell that paprika? Wow, that smells so good. I love it. It kind of opens up your taste buds, huh? Yeah. So now, this is what I like to do. Now, in the middle there, we're going to make a little, a little circle. What do you think should go in that circle next? Cheese. No, not cheese. Bacon. Bacon, you okay. Yep, so pick the bacon up, Angel, and you're going to put a couple, you're going to put a nice little handful of bacon in that middle, right in that middle there. So what you want to do is after your potatoes have started to soften up, you feel all your potatoes are warming up, getting a little crisp to them, we're going to add our bacon right to the center. You know what we forgot, get, Daddy? Get a little bit more in there, Papa. You know what we forgot? Boom. All right, now we got our bacon in there. So what our bacon is going to do is, our bacon is going to warm up. It's going to start releasing some of that bacon fat. That bacon fat is also flavor. That's what we're going to use to coat our, um, that's what we're going to use to coat our broccoli so that our broccoli gets nice and cooked into the mixture. So Brooklyn, I'm going to have you, now that the bacon is starting to get nice and warm and you can start to see it's giving off a little bit of liquid. I'm going to have you start mixing the bacon and the potato. And do it. You got to do it calmly because remember, we don't want to lose any. So let's go ahead and get that mixed up. Hold the pan, baby. Always hold your pan. We forgot the oregano. Oh, we're going to add the oregano at the end, Papa. Oh. So, boom. Oregano? Mm. Yes. What's oregano? Oregano is an herb. Nice oh, food. yeah, we forgot. No, we didn't forget. We're going to add that at the end. So now, oh, oh, if your arms get tired here, I'll step in for you. You can step to the right, and I'll just step in for you. All right, Angel, here. So I'm going to create a little soft spot. You go ahead and add a nice little handful of broccoli. And let's get a little bit more in there. Good job. So now, you know what? I think we can get a little bit more broccoli in there, right? You know what? Right, because we want to be healthy. Let's yeah. add all the broccoli. Why not? Yeah. yeah! I like broccoli. Okay. You guys like broccoli? We, we love, love broccoli. broccoli. All right. Even when it's heated up with my favorite foods. <laughs> so now, we got our bacon. We got our broccoli all into the pan. Uh-oh, Daddy kicked some out. So now we got our bacon, our broccoli, our pan. Our broccoli is starting to warm up some because the bacon is starting to... It wrap around that and the potatoes are starting to make a nice little mixture with that. That is looking delicious. Now, it's time to put the cheese. Not yet. The cheese is one of the last things. We're going to go ahead, get Some a little salt. bit more salt in there because remember, we added, we added the broccoli. The broccoli hasn't been flavored yet. So we're going to let that get a little bit of flavor in there. Now, what do we need to really make this a breakfast, guys? We need the uh, eggs. We need the egg, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So look, I'm going to have you actually break the egg. Because yeah. we're going to make a delicious fried egg. Ooh. So we're going to get a little bit of oil in our pan. One, 
Do you want me to go around and bring the eggs? I'm going to bring you the eggs. <laughs> y'all too young. Y'all know about Vanna White. She used to be a, a lady who used to do the flip the words over on a, on a game show. So what we're going to have you do, Brooklyn, is I'm going to... So right where you see that oil in the pan, that's exactly where you want the egg to drop. Now, okay. here's a couple things I want you to remember. I want you to remember that there's heat coming from here. So you don't want to bring the egg in too close to that because then you might burn yourself. And we don't want to burn ourselves. We want everybody to be yeah. safe, right? Yeah. So what I need you to do is... So we have to put our... Like, exactly. So when you're dropping it, when you're dropping in the pan, baby, I want you to make sure you're giving it some room so you're dropping in the pan. Go ahead, keep this mixing up, Angel. Brooklyn, let's go ahead and get one egg broken up. Yeah. Did you get it good? All right, let's get it in the pan. Over. Good job. Good job, baby. Good job. And I can take, oh, yep, we can drop that in there. And no, no, we just do one. Actually, you know what? I'll do one because I want to do a sunny side up egg. And because it's kind of it's kind of hard for you from that angle. I'll just go ahead and make one. So, right. Now Should we got to. Do the other one? No, we only need one egg for right now, baby. And, Dad, I have a question. What is a sunny side up egg? A sunny side up egg is when you allow all the egg white to cook, but the yolk is still fully running. Fully running, not even flipped over, over easy. It's just lightly covered up. So, we get a little bit of egg, a little bit of salt on our egg, a little pepper on our egg. So we, the kids are not just doing it by themselves, it's, it's the whole family doing it. Right about that, right? And during this time we're all locked in together, it's fun to do stuff together. Yeah. We right. gotta make sure that we do stuff together. Let's go ahead and get your, keep mixing it up, Angel. Okay. Yep, so you want to mix it like this, get it all mixed around. That is smelling and looking delicious. Wait, like can I mix this around? Oh, it don't need to be mixed, baby. This is sunny side. This, we're going to do this over easy. So I just flip it and then I kill Whoa, it. Oh, that is so cool. All right. All right, guys. So look, we got our egg nice and cooked. We got our hash nice and mixed, nice and seasoned. It's delicious. Last thing we want to do, get a little bit of sprinkles of this oregano in here. All right. Just a little urban. It's just one little sprinkle in there. That's good. So now we got our little oregano. You guys smell that oregano? Smell that. Check that out. Oh, that oh, smells so good. That smells good. I like that. Me so too. now we got our nice oregano in. So now we want to work on plating because it's important that our dish looks as beautiful as it tastes, right? Right. All right. So, boom, there's our dish. The cheese. Oh, the cheese is going to go on at the end, baby. So, boom. How should we, before we do it, you know what? I'm even going to get another plate. Maybe both of you guys will have a chance to add a little bit of design to your plate. Now, remember guys, you don't want too much stuff on your plate. You don't want your plate to look Messy. overly, you want it to look nice and fun, see, right? right. Yeah. So, what are you thinking about doing to your, what do you think about doing to your little ketchup? I'm thinking about doing like a little squiggly line and then putting like, Dots in different places, like a window, you know, the window form. Well, let's see, because remember, people won't be, the potatoes are going on top of it. So you want to, you want to make sure that you're, you're, that you're able to see it still. So one of the best things to do is to maybe even do a line across, or maybe go around in a circle, or a squiggly line like that. That's what's going to really help out. So you go ahead and do yours. That's enough. That's enough. Because you don't want too much ketchup. Oh, but remember, it's ketchup. Yeah. So here. Brooklyn, you get to make yours. Um, can yeah. I do a happy face? Well, you don't want to do a happy face because it's gonna get covered up. So go ahead and go ahead and add your little touch, your touch of ketchup. All right, perfect. Boom. Ooh, it sorry. works. No, hey, that's your design. So now we want to go. You leave your plates down. When you're plating, you want your plate down. So watch out, guys. Here, let's trade places. No, no, leave your plate there, please. Let's trade places. All right. So now the hash goes right in the middle. And then the eggs can go right and on the side. Angel's hash can go 
kind of offset to the middle so you can still see his line. And it's good for the parents to do this part because you got a hot pan and you got the hot food and you want to make sure that you're not wasting it. So it's good for the parent to step in on this part. Boom. Now, you guys can add cheese. a little bit of cheese to your plate. You just need a little sprinkle of cheese to your plate. Add it for the, and that can be added for the design. Yep. That's good. That's enough cheese, Papa. Yep, that's good enough cheese. All right, okay, now. Really good. So now, Ooh. we hit it with our egg. And then after our egg, let me show you a little trick. Let me show you a little trick that we use in the culinary industry, guys. All right. You use a little bit of the smoked paprika, and that's going to offset it and add a little wow to the plate. Boom. Wow. Boom. You see that? Whoa. I can see add a little wow. Right? Add some little wow to the plate. <laughs> so. That's actually a wow. That's actually <laughs> wow. So. Um, I think the best thing for us to do now, what we'll do is, yeah, we'll set this one here so the people at home can get a look at that one, and then maybe we can give this a try, guys. How about that? Yeah. Let's dig in. Let's let's give our creation a little try. Let's get a little ketchup, a little bit of the egg, a little cheese. Here, break it up some. Try to get a little bit of everything. That smells good. Mmm. Mmm. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. I got a little crunchiness of the bacon. The mm. potatoes are mm -hmm. nice and nice and fluffy, but that got a little really crisp. Mmm. 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 That is good. Mmm. Get on my fuck. Get on my fuck. Mmm, that is good. You know what? I don't mind being sheltered in place with you guys. You guys are pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. All right, so I guess um, this is the end of our hash. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Chef Yaku. This is Chef Angel. And... And we are the, the Sprouts. And this is Conscious Cooking. Oh, let me get back in there. <laughs> <laughs>